Hi guys, today I am unboxing my first luxury handbag of 2024. Um, if you saw my other Chanel video, you probably would know that I've been looking for a classic Chanel wallet on chain, the gold hardware and black uh, caviar leather combination. And last year I would say I went to the Chanel boutique 10 times, but couldn't uh, find it. So recently I was you know, randomly walking around at a different Chanel boutique and just went in to check to see if they had it and they did. So I went ahead and splurged. But what I didn't tell you about my experience was last year I actually bought a fake Chanel walk because I wanted to test out the capacity of it before paying $3,000 or more to um, get the real one. And I realized I did really like the capacity. It was not too small for me. So that helped me decide that I should still purchase the real walk. So later in the video, I'll be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. And see if you can tell which one's a real and which one's a fake. So inside the bag, there is a zipper compartment. And the zipper is really smooth and moves easily. There's a slip pocket in the front. And there is a, a zipper compartment with the authentication chip. And then inside the main compartment, there are six card slots. And the magnetic closure works really nicely and easily. So this bag does retail for $33.50 currently. And um, I just want to buy it before the price go up again. Um, I was pretty shocked with last year's price increase. So next I'm going to show you what fits inside this bag. Okay, so here I'm going to show you what fits inside the walk. Uh, first I'll be putting in my cell phone. My cell phone also has a card holder function, so it's kind of nice. So I don't have to separate my cards and, um, you know, rearrange them every time I change bag. So I'm probably not going to use the car slots in the back here. And then this is my regular small wallet that contains some additional cards, cash. And then I'm going to pop this uh, sunscreen uh, powder on top. This is a really great product for on the go. It gives you a little makeup touch up, but it also has SPF 50. So I really like this product. And then a little lip pencil. Let me see if it closes. It's a little bit of a stretch, but it does close. Okay, here I have the both Chanel's side by side. One is fake, one is real. Um, let me show you what they look like first, and then I'll tell you which one is real and which one is fake. So if you put them side by side, um, the one on my left hand is actually a little bit taller in height. I don't know how well you can see it from this angle. And then their width is pretty much exactly the same. And then, I'm sorry, that was the depth. And then this is the width is exactly the same. And so is the depth. And they both feature magnetic closures that closes easily. And then inside the bag, you can see they both have zipper compartments, Chanel logo, and the magnetic uh, closures are very similar. Both of the magnetic closure does have the Chanel logo on them as well. Okay, and then uh, internal compartments are the same as well. Slip pocket, zipper pocket with authentication, and six card slots on this side, and exactly the same on this one. Slip pocket, zipper pocket with authentication, and six card slots as well. And let's take a look at the outside logo. I would say they are pretty much identical. Let me see, clear, yeah. The shade of gold and everything is very, very close. And then the chevron patterns are really well matched as well. And then here's the strap. So I would say the one on the left is a little bit lighter, shade of gold, and then the one on the right 
is a deeper shade of gold. So can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? So this side is a real one and this side is the fake one. The fake one is just a smidge taller than the real one. So this side actually fits a smidge more because of the height. Um, let's go over some other differences of the bag. I think it might not be visible on camera, but let me bring it a little closer to you. Um, the fake one is actually a little bit, I would say, shinier looking, but the leather, when you touch it, the grain is less fine compared to the real side. And then also it feels a little bit plasticky to the touch, but visibly you can't really tell that big of a difference. The other difference uh, is actually the chain. I thought this is where you can tell the most difference because the real one has a more antique gold tone and this one has a light gold tone. And the capacity are pretty similar and the weight are very similar as well. And the biggest difference is probably the price. So the fake one is only $99. I bought it on SheBag. And then this is retail for $33.50. So I would say if you are on a budget, this is definitely a great dupe for the bag. I do want to make a quick comment on the fake bag that I bought on SheBag. It was a little bit shady, I would say, because um, I purchased the bag and they asked me to route the money directly from my bank account. And after I did that, I didn't hear back from them for two weeks. And I literally thought that I was getting like conned and I actually called my uh, bank and told them to dispute the charge uh, because I'd never received the merchandise. And then within three days, the bag came after I started that dispute. So it was a little bit scary purchasing this bag through the SheBag website because I feel like if, what if I didn't make that complaint? Were they just gonna um, not send me the product or and now they have my bank information? So I do, I would say buyer beware on that website. I did feel pretty uncomfortable and was worried for quite a while after I purchased the bag. So I would say this fake bag is really well made and it's actually a very close dupe for the real thing. So for me, it's actually hard for me to tell them apart unless I look closely at the strap for the color difference and if you're interested in getting the uh, fake version i will link the she bag website down below so you can check it out for yourself i love how lightweight this bag is and how versatile it is it can be worn in so many different ways uh, you can change up the strap length and i think there are many videos that already shown that so i'm not going to do that here today so if you have any additional questions regarding either of these bags please leave your question in the comment section below and i'll try to get back to you in a timely manner thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one